This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Levels 9 and 10, Prom number 22. A hare and a tortoise competed in a 5 kilometer race along a straight line. The hare is 5 times faster than the tortoise. The hare mistakenly started perpendicular to the route. After a while, he realized his mistake, then turned and ran straight toward the finish line. He arrived at the same time as the tortoise. What is the distance between the hare's turning point and the finish point? A. 11 kilometers. B. 12 kilometers. C. 13 kilometers. D. 14 kilometers. Or E. 15 kilometers. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. And here is where we'll be doing the solution. So to start, I've drawn a triangle to uh, symbolize their paths. So, a hare and tortoise compete in a five kilometer race, right? So, they, we're going to say that they both start at this point right here. And the hare mistakenly starts perpendicular. So, the entire uh, the straight line route is supposed to be five kilometers, but instead of doing that, our, the hair um, starts perpendicular, so it goes this way. And then after it's gone a certain distance horizontally, it will then realize its mistake and run back to the finish point. So that's what our, our drawing is. And we want to find the distance between the hare's turning point, so here, and the finishing point. So we want to find what I've marked as y. And again, I've marked this horizontal distance as x. We don't know what it is. Um, but again, that's the distance between the starting point and the point where the hare turns around. So let's note another, a, a few more things we know from the problem. We know the hare is five times faster than the tortoise. So we're going to uh, say S sub H stands for the hare's speed. S sub T is the tortoise's speed. We know that distance is equal to speed times time. And from the problem, we know that the speed of the hare is equal to five times the speed of the tortoise. And why is this important? Well, we know that they both arrive at the same time at this end point over here. So we'll be able to set their uh, corresponding times equal to each other and then ultimately find the y we're looking for. So again, we want to set the times equal to each other. So if we isolate sorry, isolate time, we get t is equal to distance over speed. So, using um, what time means, this is the time for the tortoise, which again is the tortoise's uh, distance on top and again the tortoise just goes straight here so its distance is 5 over the speed of the tortoise which again we've note we said we're going to note as s sub t and we know that's equal because again they arrive at the same time so they spend the same amount of time uh, running that's equal to x plus y which is the total distance of the hair because the hair ran over x and then y to get to the end point, which again is over here, over the speed of the hair, which we said we're going to say is s over h. Well, now we already know from the problem this relationship right here. So instead of s sub h, we can replace that with 5 s sub t, because this way we can cancel out nicely. So then, 
um, when we cancel out the s of t's and cross multiply, we'll get that x plus y is equal to 5 times 5, which means x plus y is equal to 25 using that equation. And what do we also know? Because this is a right uh, triangle, we know that the hypotenuse squared, y squared, must be equal to x squared plus 25 because of Pythagorean theorem. So now we have two equations, uh, two variables, so we have enough to begin solving. So first we want to isolate uh, x. Could have isolated y, but we want to find uh, what y is, so we're going to leave that in the equation. And again, all we did is take this and subtract y from both sides in order to isolate the x. Now we're substituting. So right here we had x squared. Instead of x squared, we're going to rewrite that as 25 quantity of 25 minus y squared. Because again, we just want one variable to solve for y. Next, we expand, um, and we'll get y squared is equal to 625 minus 50y plus y squared plus 25. And finally, we're going to combine like terms. We uh, subtract y squared from both sides. We can cancel that. Add 625 plus 25 to get 650. Add 50y to the other side to get... 50y is equal to 650, and if you divide by 50 from both sides, you'll get that y is equal to 13. So that distance we're looking for, the distance between the hair's turning point over here and the finish point, must be 13 kilometers. And this is answer choice C. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.